Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over everything that I picked up at Spirit Halloween over the last couple trips there. Been there three times, picked up a few items each time. Super excited to get into all these. Let's start off with the first ones I picked up, which is Mothy Max. And this zombie baby has a lot of detail. Wasn't the biggest fan of it originally when it came out, but... It's grown on me a lot. It's super creepy in real life. The scan, or the, not the scan, the head on it is just super creepy. I love the moths too. They're like, little, like, I think they're a certain type of moth, somebody said at one point. No, I, the clothing isn't painted the best. I think it could have been a little bit more white to maybe contrast the skin tone. Which the skin tone is also very good on this. It actually makes it look like a zombie baby, unlike Flipping Freddy, who I do not like at all. The eyes on this one is super creepy too. Like, look at that. And the veins on the head just adds a, adds a lot to the detail. And again, Mothy Max. I think there's a little bio on here too or something. Uh, register your zombie baby. That's what that is. So yeah, look at, from the back. And yeah, that is Mothy Max. And then I got a few cups here. Nothing major here really. Just gonna go over these quickly. I got this ghost face cup. This is super sick. I got this haunted mansion cup, which I had the one from last year, so I'm like very happy to get this one into. It's a super nice cup. And then finally, the third cup I did get was the Mars Attack cup with a new animatronic coming out this year. There's lots of merch. And this cup is super nice with the silver film around the top. The yellow and red letters really do pop out, kind of like a Hulk Hogan theme almost. But yeah, I think these guys are super cool. Again, super excited to have another zombie baby in my collection. I have so many of them now. And we're not done yet. You'll see. Now next up, I'm going to move on to my next zombie baby I got. And my next and only small item I really got. And this one's from Moncton. As Fredericton had a very lackluster... You know, they had very lackluster props over there. They didn't have a lot of animatronics, zombie babies, anything really. But Moncton did, and I was so excited. They only had one of Gutsy Gwen, and I got Gutsy Gwen, so I'm super excited. Let's try her out. And she is just so, so cool. And I think the pumpkin that she's holding is also a great touch. Super creepy and also not creepy at the same time. I'm not really sure how to describe it. It's a gr lots of great molding and the sculpts on this prop too. Like look at this pumpkin and the sculpt on the head of the zombie baby. And again, the lights and the eyes makes the eyes just super menacing to me. Let's just try her out again, just so everybody can get a good look. Super, super creepy. So let's move on to all the animatronics I ended up buying over the last few days, as there's a lot to go through. And who better to start off with when, than the one that's right to the left, and that is Dagger Mike. Now, I really did not like Dagger Mike that much at the start of the season, but this prop really, really did grow on me. It is a great jump scare. Now, again, the legs are a little bit short looking. I think they could probably fix that. But it's not that big of a problem. It extends out to four foot nine, which is actually pretty tall. It goes up about a foot total, as it's three foot eleven when it's just crouched down. And it's not the creepiest clown, but it's a really good jump scare. And I think the vintage clown look to it as well really adds to why I actually like it, as it's not one of those bright, flashy clowns that you usually will see at all these stores like Lowe's, Beer Halloween, etc. This one looks more vintage. Like Waving Wally, I really am a fan of that prop. Some people aren't. Dagger Mike, I think, fits right along with him. That might be where I put him this year. As I do have my Waving Wally outside my display. So maybe I'll put Dagger Mike out there as well on the other side. Not sure. But I'm super glad to be picking this one up. Let's take a look at the side of the box real quickly. Now, I think the box designs on these things could be a lot better. Get a real quick read of the bio if anybody wants to. And again, none of these are outside 
rated. These are covered porch or indoor use only. $210 Canadian. Really good deal in my opinion for a jump scare of this quality. I can't say enough good things about this prop. Go pick it up if you can. My local store has been selling these like hot cakes. It is a great deal. Yeah. Let's move on to the next animatronic, which probably will be Grave Watcher. Now, this is a returning prop, and I'm actually wasn't that big of a fan of it originally when I heard it was returning, but once I saw it in stores, I understood all the hype behind it. As it is a great prop and is also very cheap and affordable. Now, for $100 Canadian, which is what I paid for Grave Watcher, minus 20% off coupon, of course, because I use 20% off coupons on everything that I bought today. There's one up on the store locator if you're looking for one. Do not spend full price on props or whatever you are buying. It's not worth full price when you can use a 20% off coupon. Grave Watcher, however, is a great price regardless of if you're getting a coupon. Let's take a good look at her box. I might have to say, though, not as impressive in person as it looks on the box. I think it might look a little... Maybe it's just a display model that was at the store, though. And let's move this box here and look at the side. Yeah, I'm not sure if the candles was moving on the one in the store. Granted, that store was not that good. That store really was very, very... I mean, not that the store was bad, it just had very bad props. This, however, is a very good prop once it is set up right. A little bit cheap in quality, but for the price you're paying, you can't really complain very much. Let's get a little quick read of the bio, though I'm sure everybody knows it from when she was available back when she originally came out. Anyways, let's move on to the prop that I bought the same day as Grave Watcher. Gutsy Gwen and Dagger Mike, and that is none other than probably my favorite prop of the year, either that or Emmeline, and that is Darling Dolly. I am super, super excited to have this prop, and I will get all into this prop and talk all about it here right now. So Darling Dolly is an amazing prop, probably my favorite of the year. If not, it's gonna either go to Emmeline or a very debatable Cauldroness. Cauldroness has just so much good movement, I can't. But Darling Dolly is a great prop, and it's a very unique concept as well. We haven't seen a lot of huge dolls from Spirit. We've seen some smaller ones with some unique features, but like, and like Abandoned Annie, who had the mouth that gaped open with ragged teeth. But this one is just a different level of creepy, and it's a jump scare as well, which I don't think, I mean, Creepy Rising Doll, is a decent comparison to this one, but it's just no comparison. Darling Dolly is amazing, and it's a great jump scare too. 100% worth the 280 US dollar price point or 340 Canadian. Go buy this when you see it at your store. It is amazing. Let's take a look at the side real quickly. Again, these boxes can be so much better if you're Halloween. Just put the time and effort in. It changes from blue to red eyes. And let's take a look at the back of the box real quickly. And the story. I don't think I've seen the story from her yet. So anyways, you had 340 for her in Canadian. Or in Canada. Definitely a great price for a jump scare prop like her. They could have charged a lot more and I still would have bought it. But let's move on to the last prop I bought, who is also a jump scare prop, and that is Little Jack Carver. Now, Little Jack Carver is a great, affordable prop. Well, I say affordable lightly, as nothing from Spear Halloween is affordable anymore. This one is kind of a zombie pumpkin farmer hybrid of sorts. It's a really cool prop. I wish that they had a full pumpkin for the head, though, rather than just a half pumpkin mask, which this does have. It's definitely a cool prop to add to my harvest slash farm theme. 
and I'm glad to be picking it up. I'm just hoping that it lasts as some jump scare props don't last long. Some of them do though, and I'm hoping that this is gonna be one of them as it is a great looking prop visually. And I'm hoping that it lasts long too because the price tag is pretty good. It goes from three foot six to four foot three. And I believe that the light on the pumpkin always stays on. I'm not sure about that though. I know Gordo's does which has a similar kind of looking pumpkin to Little Jack Carver. Let's take a look at the box of Little Jack Carver real quickly here. Again, same box design we've seen on all the previous props. Take a look at the story on the back. Pause if you want to read that. And let's take a look at the other side, just more of the same, more so. I have to grab a couple of hay bales to stack this guy, stack this guy on, and display them. So this is everything that I ended up picking up at the Spirit Halloweens I went to. I went there three times total: two times to Moncton, one time to Fredericton, and I ended up picking up Mothy Max and the Cup at Fredericton. That's all I ended up picking up there. They had no good animatronics, unfortunately. And then in Moncton, I ended up picking up Darling Dolly, Dagger Mike, Grave Watcher and Gutsy Gwen, my first trip. And then the second trip, I found that they actually had some new animatronics in. They had Desmodus in box, but the one on display wasn't working, so I did not pick him up. Wasn't really impressed. They couldn't even get his audio to work, so I don't know if the sensor bad on him. But I ended up picking little Jack Carver up instead, and he looks great, so I mean, I'm super excited. Sorry, my video cut off there, but I am super excited to be getting the little Jack Carver and set him up and put him in my put him in my farm theme this year. I think he should be a great addition, and he looks like a great jump scare too. Darling Dolly is going to be a great addition to my new theme this year, which is a doll section, creepy dolls to be exact, and that's exactly where Grave Watcher is going to. And I know some people's going to be criticizing me for not putting her in my graveyard, but I have a lot of props in my graveyard, and I don't have that many for my doll section. Now, sure, I'm going to be adding some of my doll section from other stores this year, but I just think that her going to my doll section is going to be a great idea. As she does look like a doll, you all have to admit that. And Darling Dolly, I have a great spot for her. I'll show her show her spot in one of my future haunt builds when I get those going. And, of course, Dagger Mike will be going in my clown section. He just took me by storm. I really did not expect to like him so much. And then Guts Gwen, I mean, just, I'm just so excited to have a new animated zombie baby this year. It's a great animated zombie baby, too. Really great one to come back with Spirit Halloween. And, yeah, that is all my pickups from Spirit Halloween in the last few days. I'm going to be going into some of my other pickups from other stores soon, so stay tuned for that video. But this is all that I got at Spirit Halloween for my few, first few trips. As I get more stuff in, I'll be take, taking more trips and buying more so stay tuned for that as there's still so much that i want it's so much i need but you guys will see all that once canada eventually gets all those props in until then though i will see you guys when i'm setting all these props up in future videos